Hey guys, this is Sam, and macOS 10.12.5 was released earlier today alongside a slew of other updates including iOS 10.3.2, watchOS 3.2.2, and a new version of tvOS. So lots of changes happening and I want to go ahead and break down what changed in macOS right now. So this update improves the stability, compatibility, and security of your Mac and is recommended for all users. This update fixes an issue where audio may stutter when played through USB headphones. Now this is interesting because up until like 30 seconds ago I didn't know that USB headphones were a thing. But apparently they are and issues with those and audio stutter should be fixed now. This update also enhances the compatibility of the Mac App Store with future software updates. I assume this is talking about Mac OS 10.13, which should be announced WWDC, which is coming up right around the corner, but we don't know a whole lot about that. This also adds support for the media-free installation of Windows 10 Creators Update using Boot Camp, adds support for more digital camera raw formats, and if you want to see what those specific formats are, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Mac OS 10.12.5 also resolves an issue affecting some enterprise and education customers that may cause the system date to be set to the year 2040. That's interesting how bugs and glitches like that come to be. Blow my mind, but it's here and it should be fixed. And this update also prevents a potential kernel panic when starting up from a net install image, but in addition to the changes that we just talked about, macOS 10.12.5 actually has a lot going on in the background as far as security updates go. Now as I'm scrolling through this long laundry list of changes, you can probably tell that there is a ton happening here, and it would be a waste of time for everybody to read every single change and credit it. Uh, it's a lot of information, and if you're interested in reading it, I'll be more than happy to leave a link to where you can read all about it down below in the description. I just want to say that obviously security updates are good and I would highly recommend updating as soon as possible because you never know when, I don't know, your security might be compromised and macOS 10.12.5 is extremely secure. As always, I want to hear your thoughts about this update down below, so leave a comment and let me know what you think about macOS 10.12.5 and if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it. It would help me out if you hit that like button as well. I've been Sam, subscribe for more like this in the future, I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you later.